Hi, this is Amy the Hypnotist. How do we stop being emotionally triggered by a parent? Can't we just pump the brakes on that wide-eyed, reckless inner force that drives us straight through the eye of the storm every time? What is it in us that continues to feel unworthy, unfavored, and uncelebrated even after years of therapy and self-help interventions? And why doesn't reduced exposure serve as a fail-safe modus operandi for all adult children of toxic parents? One of the most challenging things about adulthood is redefining and reshaping our relationships with our parents, especially for those of us with childhood trauma. And yet learning to navigate these murky waters is an invaluable part of our soul's evolution as it helps us reclaim and cultivate the most authentic parts of ourselves. Wrestling with it forces us to develop our own moral compass unscathed by the past. In every other way, you may be incredibly evolved or enlightened and easily able to attract healthy and positive outcomes in relationships personally and professionally. You may see in yourself the gift of discernment the ability to distinguish between harmonious, nourishing relationships and destructive parasitic ones and have the confidence to make needed adjustments. We intuitively understand that sometimes people grow apart, require different things, or experience changes in beliefs, lifestyle, or core values that feel incompatible. Although these shifts and changes may initially feel uncomfortable, over time new people enter our circle and propel us forward in our growth and development. So why then as adults can't we apply this kind of emotional buoyancy and mental flexibility to our relationship with our parents? Let's think about this. As a child, our world is narrow, insular, and myopic. We have so few tools for understanding parents' behavior or protecting ourselves from emotionally unsafe situations and very few ways of managing conflict. As an adult, if we continue to relate to our parents as if we are a child, pining for some sort of unlikely positive outcome, approval, compassion, or loving guidance, we are placing the trauma self or less evolved parts of ourselves in a perpetually unproductive situation. And we are reinforcing an imbalanced relationship pattern by allowing parental cues or lack thereof to determine how we feel about ourselves. Throughout our adulthood, a whole new world of choices begins to materialize as we gain intellectual, emotional, and spiritual depth from life experience. We simply need to apply this wisdom and maturity to our relationships with our parents and stop returning to the dry well of disappointment. Most of us can get so many of our needs met by dipping into the abundant fountain of cherished friendships and surrogate family. And this alone helps dismantle the parts of ourselves that feel overly needy, vulnerable, and unsatisfied. And these relationships gift us most of what our head, heart, and soul needs to thrive. So here are a few more healing guidelines for redefining and reshaping relationships with emotionally unhealthy parents. Look, draw from your own insights and emotional intelligence. What would it be like to live inside your mother or father's head, needing to be judgmental, perfectionistic, angry, ingenuine, emotionally absent? Where does this way of thinking or being come from? Perhaps their own childhood trauma? Even if understanding this doesn't deepen our compassion or help us forgive their behavior, it may inspire and motivate us to a higher standard. There is much to be gleaned even from poor role models. 
Look, give yourself the gift of emotional freedom. There is nothing inherently wrong about having expectations of our parents. It is healthy, valid, reasonable, well-founded, and even deserved. The fact that we have any expectations at all is a clear sign our higher selves are at the helm. However, here is a shift in thinking that may be helpful. What if you let go of needing anything specific from your parents and met your needs independently or within the context of other healthier relationships? Think about the quality of people you've attracted who align well with your core values and see the world in a similar light. You can consider using hypnosis, meditation, or yoga to facilitate the release of lower frequency energies and attune to the energy of the higher self. Break the cycle of victimization. Feelings of anger, frustration, resentment come from the disappointment of unmet expectations. When we are children, our parents are the center of our universe. They influence our habits, our schedule, feelings, moods, beliefs, perspectives. And in a perfect world, they helped create an environment that is safe, unconditionally loving and supportive. Yet in the absence of this, we venture out as adults, finding clever ways to build our own tribe, which makes us feel less vulnerable and more resilient. Look through a spiritual lens. Our neurotic masochistic human side <clears throat> will try to inspire some sort of apology or acknowledgement of wrongdoing from our parent. But what happens when they are not far enough along in their own journey of growth and healing? What if they're not open to listening or changing? Do we then tether ourselves to this kind of emotional unrest? Or can we focus on what each of our souls and our family taught or learned from each other? Maybe our soul is here to model unconditional love and forgiveness to a parent. Maybe through us, they learn to live more authentically. When we focus more on the lessons and teachings that serve to strengthen our soul, we are less bogged down with unnecessary distractions, old baggage, and conflicts. Look, ultimately, each one of us much, must decide for ourselves whether to keep a toxic parent in our life and to what extent. Open your mind to the possibility that all of us can grow and change, but it cannot be forced by our personal timeline nor elicited through shame. Consider the fact they may be a better version of themselves as a grandparent and operate on a higher level. And brace yourself for some possible resistance if having a relationship with an unhealthy parent is contingent upon an apology, personal changes, or ground rules. Keep in mind the end goal is always inner peace and harmony and it may be an ever-evolving process. If you'd like to learn more, visit me at sensoriumhypnosis.com.